Hi Power Appers, my name is Robin and today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of your ugly toggles inside of forms. Because let's face it, they are not really beautiful, they are functional, okay, but not really beautiful. And I'm going to show you how you can achieve this in just a matter of seconds. First of all, we're going to look at how we make a button to be a toggle outside of a form, like this. This shows and hides this gallery. So first of all, we're gonna insert a button and make it a little bigger and put it down here. First, we set a toggle variable on this button and we're gonna call it toggle2 and we're gonna set it the opposite of itself, which is a really easy way to toggle a variable from a true to false and the other way around. We're gonna put it on the button itself. Uh, instead of the button caption, we're gonna put toggle two on there. So now it's true, now it's false and true again. And now we're gonna change the fill property based on this toggle variable. We're gonna say if this variable is true. It's the, the green, the fill it was before. And if not, we're gonna make it light gray. But inside the form, we're gonna try to do it a little easier because we don't want to have extra variables flying around. And now I'm gonna show you how you make this toggle into this button. So first of all, we need the button again. We unlock the card and put a button inside, put it roughly in the same position. And we're gonna name this toggle three. And we actually ha still have a need for um, this toggle itself. We're gonna name this toggle, toggle three. And then we're gonna put this in front of everything else. Bring this to the front. Now it's in front of the button. And now we're gonna link the button fill to the toggle value. So we're using the same if formula, but instead of the variable, we put the toggle value in there. And now I can press this and see that the button toggles its color. And the interesting thing is that you can uh, press anywhere on the toggle area, not just the button or the text, but anywhere in between and can toggle it. And the last thing we need to do is just make everything invisible, but we need the toggle to still be there. So we have to put all the, the colors to transparent. So we select the toggle and put the fill the false fill and the true fill and the handle fill to transparent. And then we need to not show the label. And everything else is already set. The update property of the data card is linked to the toggle and we still keep the toggle around. So we need to not change anything right there. That's everything I got for you today. If you want to learn more about uh, Power Apps templates, which you can see I'm using right here, um, you can check out my German video about Power Apps templates. And if you want to make your apps even look more beautiful and get some animation going in them, feel free to check out my Fun with SVGs playlist. Thanks for watching and see you next time.